Oh, hey, it's you guys. Welcome back to our channel. Remember the bread recipe that we used to make our stuffing in our Thanksgiving video from a couple weeks ago? Well, today I'm going to teach you how to make it. All right, step number one, we're going to take a cup and a half of water and just set it here in the oven for a few minutes. Uh, if you have a thermometer at home, you can use that to get to about 110 degrees. If you don't, you can just use your finger and kind of test it to where it feels maybe a little warmer than body temperature. Either way, um, it's not super scientific, but 110, yeah, that's about where you want it. Now that our water's at 110 degrees, we're gonna pour it in our mixing bowl. Add one teaspoon of the sugar. In this instance, we're using coconut sugar. And one packet of active yeast, which is a quarter of an ounce. Now we're going to use our mm, whisk attachment for our KitchenAid. We're going to whisk this until it gets a little bit foamy. Once it's foamy, that's when we know the yeast has been activated. Now that it's bubbly, we'll let it sit for about uh, 10 to 15 minutes and you'll start to see it look more like a um, foamy consistency rather than just the bubbly. And once it's foamed up quite a bit, we'll be ready to go to step three. Next, we're gonna take uh, three cups of our flour. I'm using King Arthur um, bread flour for this recipe, and then a teaspoon of salt. We're just gonna whisk that together real quick, and just make sure it's fairly incorporated. Okay, now that we have that mixed, this is gonna start going into our yeast, sugar, and water mixture. Uh, so now we're gonna take the whisk attachment off, and pop our dough hook on. Put that down, and just start adding our flour a little bit at a time. And I'll just keep it on a low setting. We're gonna have to put my guard on. I just want that run for a minute until um, it's fairly incorporated. And once it comes together, then we'll add in our butter. I might actually scrape the sides down real quick just to make sure everything's getting mixed. Pretty well mixed, so I'm gonna go ahead. All right, now that our mixture is pretty much incorporated, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the butter into the equation. Third of a cup to be exact. Very thorough uh, scraping with the finger. You gotta scrape it thoroughly. <laughs> His hands are completely clean. I watched him wash his hands. Just for us anyway, so. <laughs> In the age of pandemic, we still have to mention it. Yeah. 
Once the butter's mixed in, we will just kind of add flour until we reach our desired consistency. I have about a cup of it set out, but it could be more than that, it could be less. We'll just have to uh, play it by eye and see how it uh, turns out as we mix it in. There's like one little chunk in there that needs to get broken out. It's close. Start slowly incorporating it, that more flour. butter chunk is still over there. That's okay. It'll break up eventually with the flour addition. As it mixes, we'll see it's kind of starting to form a ball. It's still a little stuck to the outsides. Kind of what we're looking for is for the, the ball to kind of form and completely pull away from the sides, so. It's almost there. It's getting there, but. It's looking like it's probably gonna take more than the extra cup, so at this point, there's four cups total in the recipe, so I'll get out the bag and we can add some more since it looks like we're going to need it. Just about there. I'm gonna give it one more quick scrape. Try to get under it a little bit. We got a little flour in the bottom. Oh, it's starting to pick up. At this point, I'm gonna stop it. It looks like it's pretty well coming off the edges. I'm gonna give it the finger test and see how it feels. Honestly, that feels pretty good. It's not really sticking to my fingers too much. So that's a pretty good sign that it's ready to go. I mean, it's always gonna stick to your fingers a little bit, but you'll know if it's sticking or not. If it's sticking, then you literally can't get it off. All right, so I'm gonna take our bowl off. Gonna make sure it's good to go. I'm gonna grab a glass bowl. Take a little warm butter and give it a grease. Use a spatula, your fingers, or whatever you like, but you just kinda wanna get the outside of the bowl oiled so that the dough doesn't stick after it's done proving. This part is very much like the dinner rolls. Yes, yes from our Thanksgiving video. All right, so I'm just gonna kinda get the dough out of the bullets in. Just wanna get it formed into a little bit of a ball. Plop her in there. 
Try to get this excess out so we don't waste any of it. Step before we proof it is to I use a bag a big plastic bag which is actually an oven bag but it works perfect for this but you want us to want to be able to get an environment where the air is it has been about uh, 50 minutes and our dough is definitely uh, doubled in size if you can see it right there so we're going to consider this first proof done. We're going to take it out of our bag. I have our bread pan all greased just like we did the uh, bowl the first time around. So we're just going to punch down in the middle. Kind of get it off your hand there. And turn it out. Try to give it a little bit of a work just a couple times just to get it kind of formed into your shape just kind of want to like maybe like take the sides and kind of pinch them under and then rotate it and kind of pinch them under the other way just until you get a, a good smooth dough ball going it just takes maybe a dozen of these and you're fine all right so now we're gonna Place the dough in our bread pan, kind of use our fingers to push it out to fill in the edges. That way you get a nice uniform bread loaf. Alright, that looks pretty good. So, I'm going to put it back in the bag and we're going to do our second proof. Which should probably, with how the first one went, be only maybe 30 minutes, hopefully. So I'm going to place it back over here, and we're going to let it go and see how long it takes us to get to double the size again. Okay, we're back. It's been about uh, 25 minutes, and as you can see, after our second proof, our dough has risen enormously. Definitely double in size, so this is making out to be a, a good loaf. So we're going to take it out of our bag, and the oven is preheated to 350 now. And we're looking at just having to throw it in for about 45 minutes. Eh, 30 to 45 minutes, we'll keep an eye on it and see how it looks. But uh, yeah, so here we go. Now we'll let it go and um, see how it turns out, but it looks like it should be pretty good. So we're at about 50 minutes on our bake time and we think the loaf is looking like it's ready to come out. As you can see, it's got a nice golden brown top. And if you give it a little flick on top and it sounds kind of hollow, you know you've got your desire to bake, so. Gonna let this set out for maybe well, 10 to 15 minutes and then we'll turn it out onto a um, cooling rack and let it sit overnight. And it should be ready to eat in the morning. Or I might sneak a warm piece tonight, I don't know, we'll see.